Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team, and you're watching our weekly workshop. We recently released a new feature that allows you to convert an entire page to pure HTML that you can edit freely, or add a new HTML-based page right from the get-go. And what this allows you to do is almost anything you want with a page because you have access to the entirety of the HTML for that page's template. So you could do things like make a complex grid system or set up uh, buttons and headers. Now, some of that stuff may be coming into Creator in the future, but I wanted to create a video tutorial for you guys real quick that shows you how to add both a button and a header and use a simple grid in Creator right now using our HTML-based pages. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a new project here. I'm gonna call this project Cat Pictures. And we're just gonna do this blank. It's gonna be a real quick and easy project here. Now, the first thing I like to do is set up my different pages, get my header color that I want. So we're gonna change our header color to positive. Save that in our theming. And we are going to name this page Cat Pictures. Then we are going to add a new blank page name that add a picture and we're not going to design this page i just want this page to be here so we can navigate to it using a header button later so uh like i said we're going to put a header button right here to navigate to that other page but we're not going to do that quite yet because since this page has a convert to html button we can do a lot of work before we convert okay so let's first of all turn off padding on this page and then begin to upload four cat pictures here just to give us something to work with so I've already found these cat pictures over on the Google. So we're just going to upload these one by one here. And make sure that they are full width. We had that padding set to false. Okay, there are two of them down. Okay, let's keep going. Two more to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these in a two by two grid after we convert here. So that they kind of look like a standard uh, grid picture app that you would see on any of the uh, native features here. All right, so we've got cat pictures, padding is off, four pictures. So now that we've got that set, let's convert this whole page to HTML. Now, you cannot go backwards. So what this is going to do is show you in advance what the HTML it's going to generate will look like. So you can look and say, okay, I'm okay with this. Convert this page to HTML. Like I said, once you click this button, you will no longer be able to use drag and drop for this page. So we convert this page to HTML, and it's automatically going to open our code window and show us the HTML that we currently made here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add that header button. So normally in Creator, we put everything that you drag in inside Ion Content. However, header buttons actually go outside of Ion Content. So I know that I want to put something here. Now, through looking at the Ionic Framework documentation, I found Ion Nav Buttons. Okay, and Ion Nav Buttons allows you to have an Ion View, like we have. Next to that Ion Content, they have Ion Nav Buttons here. You can use side, so you can set it to primary, secondary, left or right, and then put button-based content right in there. So what we're gonna wanna do here is have an ion nav buttons, okay? And I'm gonna have a button class equals button. I want this button to be an icon. And then I went over to ionicons.com, so that's here, ionicons.com, and this is the icon set that we build into Creator. And I looked for an add icon and found the icon plus round. So we're gonna make that an icon, ion plus round for that icon. And then we are, whoops, apparently I spelt button wrong. And we're gonna save that, and we are going to get a plus button on our primary side. Now, if I wanted to do side equals secondary here, and save that, it's gonna move it over to the right for us. Now, right now, this button doesn't do anything. So if I preview, we have a nice button that gets a background color on press, but it doesn't do anything. So one of the other things we could do is use UISREF from within code to navigate to other pages. So if we go to add a picture, we see this state SREF in the properties of this page is called add a picture. We're gonna copy that state over to the first page here and on this button, I'm gonna put UI-SREF equals the state from the other page. Now, when we open that, and hit plus, it's gonna navigate us to the add a picture page. Nice and easy, just like we're used to. 
So now we want to get each of these images into a two by two grid. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our rows and columns. Now, if you go to the Ionic documentation here and you go to CSS components and grid, you're going to see all the different kinds of stuff you can do with grid. We even have uh, vertically centering, evenly spaced. We have explicitly spaced content, all this stuff on how to use our grid system. It really is awesome and it uses uh, flex grid. So let's go back here. Ours is just going to be pretty simple, but you can get as complex as you want. So we're going to add div class equals row. And then I'm going to get rid of this here. We're going to tab two of these images over. Add an end div there. Copy our row. Put a second row. Tab over these two. And end that row. Then on each of our image uh, div containers, we're going to add class equals call. Take this and put it on all four of them. And when we save, we're going to get a nice evenly spaced grid with those four pictures. So now with really simple HTML based editing, we have unlocked everything from that ion view for your page, giving you access outside of ion content to add ion nav buttons. And then uh, also gave you access to do things like grid and basically anything you want to do. If you can find it in Ionics documentation or somewhere else in templating, you can make sure that it works with our HTML based templates. Now, the other thing I wanted to get is uh, just mentioned for part of our documentation is if you look at CSS components, buttons, headers, and footers, you can kind of see some of the classes you might add to make your button look different. So if you're looking for a text-based button, for instance, one of the things you might want to add to it is button clear, which is going to make the text a little bit bigger because the button doesn't have any kind of outline around it. So just want to let you know, spend some time in Ionics documentation and really could do anything you want in Creator now with these HTML-based pages. So uh, until next time, you guys always let me know if you have ideas for more tutorials, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.